So if I were to describe my dad to somebody who had never met him, I would say he is a kind, thoughtful, smart, and goofy guy. I think when you first meet Lee, you might think he's this formidable presence, but he truly balances that with humor, with kindness, with caring. Lee is an amazing leader. He's just a very talented leader. I think he was like that even as a resident. He just got better and better as he got more experience. I think Lee truly appreciates the stories that patients tell. He takes the time to get to know them. And I think the patients that work with him come away with that sense. I had a stroke back in October of last year. We were in search of answers. Right? Will I ever be back to normal? And Dr. Schwarm has been essential in the way I've been feeling about myself. The whole time he was speaking to us, I mean, the cadence of his voice, he had a smile on his face the entire time. It made both of us have a lot less stress and just be able to exhale. He always has the patient at the center of his work, but he's so inclusive of the team. And that is something that is truly important in stroke care. And Lee is somebody that doesn't just kind of put lip service to that. He's a champion for it, he advocates for it, and he walks the walk each day. As a doctor, I hope to emulate my dad's smile I hope to emulate my dad's willingness to not be the authority figure and the sort of person standing upright wearing the, the lab coat looking down at the patient, but rather the person sitting at eye level and listening to the patient and being just another human being. Every day he puts patients at the center and between telestroke programs and the get with the guidelines, he's really saved thousands if not tens of thousands of people's lives and he's done it with the heart of gold. The first time he treated us, he gave us an hour and 10 minutes on a Zoom call. It just blew me away at 8.10 at night. He sees you as a whole person, not just a stroke, right? A stroke patient, but as a whole person. I think he just takes real joy in hearing from people and listening to people and trying to empathize and understand with people. And I think that caring for people in a time of need is really just an extension of that. He's someone who changes the energy of the room when he walks in. He's just a very nice person and you would have no idea that he was this world-renowned neurologist. He never sought out to become a household name in neurology. I think he set out to do the work that he really cared about and to help the people that he wanted to help. My thinking was, you know, you had a stroke, you were finished, but no, uh, you're not, right? You continue to love and you continue to, to, to contribute to society. So it was, it, was, it was not the end, it was just a different beginning. He has made it his career and life passion to help people with stroke and to mentor the next generation to do the same. Now, in medical school, people will sometimes ask me, like, oh, are you Lee Schwamm's son? And I'll sort of blush and say yes. In each their own way, my mom and my dad made it a clear priority to have a close, open, honest family relationship to give hope and optimism and tell with certainty to a patient, yes, I see you fully recovering from this. I see a very bright future for you. I think I'll end up a better person after a stroke than, than I was. So Dr. Schwann was, was really essential in making me understand that there was a way out of the stroke. Lee, I just want to say congratulations to you on receiving this award. I think of all the people living across this world that you've helped through your research and your advocacy and leadership. It just makes me so proud to know you and to be your friend and your colleague. We feel so honored to be your patient because you've really given us hope and optimism. Thank you and, and congratulations on your award, uh, which is so well deserved. I've always said to people who recognize me as your son that I can't speak to you as a neurologist, but I can say that you're a wonderful father. And I believe that you bring the same kindness and care and compassion that you did to parenting to your role as a physician. And as funny it is, as it is to say coming from your son, I'm so proud of you.